Right then, guys. I am now in ba I am now in Bamberbridge ahead of today's game. If you take on, if you take on Bamberbridge away from home, um, I did. I, t I took the train up today. Um, I took the train up today. I thought it would be a little bit quicker. Just kind of just had to walk. Just had to walk to the ground. I did. Um, now, um, now I am just. At, now I am just here at the ground. Um, are we, are we're taking on Bamberis today. They're seventh in the league, and we're tenth in the league. It's going to be a really, really tough. It's going to be a really tough game today, as both teams are really high up in the league. Um, earlier on in the season, we lost two one at home to them. It was a pretty equal game, but we came away with nothing after having lots of chances, but we just didn't take them. Our record here at Bamber isn't get it isn't great. We've lost the last two meetings here, six one and at two nil. Um, it's my first time here at this ground, so it'll be interesting to see if they can do anything good while I while I come to this ground. Because usually on away days, I they usually win when I come. All the away days I've come to this season, we've won all of them. So um, it'll be interesting. Um, I think out of all three meetings, we've lost all three. Uh, we've lost three of them, but we've won one, and that's when I was mascot at home, at home when we played them at home at Stafford Rangers. So. Uh, my prediction today is going to be um, a 1-1 one -one draw as both teams are looking for it. Bamber Bridge aren't in the best of form at the moment and we are in mid-table form in 10th. So, um, so, um, so uh, for this game recently we've had a lot of injuries so hopefully we can get a few players back today. It'll be interested if we can get at least two or three back today. It was enough for the game to be on today as Tuesday game was off because of not having enough players to field. So hopefully we can get a result today with the players we've hopefully got back. It'll be interesting to see the lineup. So I'll see you in the ground, guys, in a bit. Welcome to Bamberbridge Football Club, home of Bamberbridge. Also the Blackburn Rovers ladies as well. It's an interesting fact for you. There's a clubhouse over there. Very, very interesting to be honest. It, it looks a good ground from the outside. I'll show you when I get from. I'll show you the inside. I'll show you the inside when I get into the ground in a bit. Wow. Nice, nice ground to be honest, and there's a stand over there. I'll show you, I'll show you the clubhouse. This is the clubhouse over here. So, uh, it's nice ground, and there's I think the railway line over there, and the A6. When I was going by on the train, we saw the railway line. So, so overall, it's pretty deep, pretty decent ground. So, I'll, 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 see in a, I'll see in a little while, guys, and I'll try and, try and get it drink now as we're quite early um, as I don't think anyone's really here now I think the ground's only just open for people so we'll see it's only just open for people to be honest but anyway great ground though to be honest <laughs> I missed a goal there, but I got in the celebration, so come on, Rangers. Tom Tonks was the goal scorer. What a start. Oh. 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 
were awful defending! You get it, Scott, did you? Yeah. You get it. 2 0. Come on, buddy! Did you get it, did you? Yeah. Scott, it. Rangers as well by Alex Ray Harvey. Can't believe this, can't believe this 2-0. Wow. Go through, go through. Yeah. Yeah. Arden boys. Half. Arden half. Half time Van Rijs nil. Stuff Rangers 2. Great half of football. May it continue second half. Well for the second half the Staff Rangers are winning 3-0. Tree Pemberton was the scorer. I've just confirmed it, and it's Tree Pemberton is the scorer. So same as the goal coming out of the clubhouse, but I didn't expect to be winning 3-0 though. Sending off for Bamber Bridge. Oh, shit, I think it is second yellow or something. Yeah, I think it's second yellow or something. Game yeah, resuming. Oh. Okay. Got one back. 
I thought he saved that to be honest. I didn't think it had gone in. Anyway, it's 3 1, 3 1 now. Well, at least he's still winning though. Right, keep the ball, keep the ball. Yes! Guys, it is one day after the game as Staff Rangers beat Bamber Bridge 3 1. Uh, that's another ground ticked off the list for me, and that's the first time I've ever been there. Yes, yeah, so it was a great day out, that was, and it was a fine team performance as well. The reason why I'm recording a full time score um, now and not last night was because. Um, I didn't have much time on the way back. It was late when I got back, and um, and 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 also that um, the trains back from Preston, when we got to Preston, were all delayed because there was problems up in Scotland, and um, the train back to Crewe was delayed by an hour. We're, I was trying to get to I was trying to get to Stafford, but there's no there's no Avanti trains that are direct to Stafford. So annoying. But anyway, other than that, other than that, it, it was a great day out. And also, it was delayed on the way back as well. 25 minutes were stuck at Warrington because there was um, a Warrington, or was it Wigan? I'm not quite sure here. But um, there was some disturbance on the train with some kind of fans, I think. Um, I'm sure it was pretty much the crew fans because they had a, um, quite a few youth lots he did. And even some crew fans, the proper fans, were telling me that they were they were idiots. Does that tell you something? I said, some, some Chelton fans that have been at Wigan got on the train, so that's where the trouble must have broke out. They have to get the police involved, they did. They're far waiting so long. Yeah, but other than that, and the, other than the disruption, it was a really good day out. Yeah, and... And it was a great performance by the team. I can name quite a few players putting in a good performance. Uh, Pemberton, yeah, Pemberton, Alex Ray Harvey, Tom Tonks, and uh, even even K Man Anderson, uh, Anderson put in a good shift as well. And he made up, he was running up the pits for the whole entire game, doing lots of work. Ever since Pemberton's been put in, he's um, 
for proving why he's the starter. Lot. Well, it's been a great opportunity while a few when a, while a few players have been injured. Well, Joe Cuff has been out with COVID, and uh, Jake Charles been out with his injury that he's got. It's not good that we got all it's already other players away, but it just gives other players an opportunity to play. Yeah, Alex Ray Harvey, it was a great performance by him yesterday. He was at Tonks played well again. I thought there's a few other players that players that I could name, but I think they are the top players that played yet that did well yesterday. Um Pitting, Pitting, Pitting played well. He didn't have much to do, really, because Bamba Riz didn't really threaten and he had some kind of off day. But the defence, even when Bamba Riz came forward, um, uh, so the defenders cleared it off the line. The only concern was that we conceded a goal, which looked like it had actually gone wide when really it went in. It came off Ethan Stewart. He was he had four defenders that cleared a lot of the uh, bu uh, balls out the Bamberry's area, out of that area. So um, other than that own goal going in, which was unlucky, he he's played well since coming in. I thought uh, Kenton and Fear Bay Jones coming off the bench as they're finally back. They didn't tell a bad performance, but I can't really say much on them because they didn't really have Kenton didn't have much time to. Really had an impact, really, coming on, coming on in the 89th minute, where um, Peter Bay Jones came on a little bit like um, earlier, I think, and not too sore. But he didn't have any kind of bad performance. So, overall, it was a good performance from the most of the team, really. So, overall, I'm, re I'm really happy with that performance. And we're, we're now, uh, we're, we're still in ninth, we are. You know, we move up to ninth and tenth, and, um, well, I don't know if we're already ninth, though, but, um, and we're now only four points off the playoffs. So it's all to play for until the end of the season. Now we've got Witten Albion away next week we have. Next Saturday in the league. Um, and now, now we've got our uh, Staff Senior Cup quarter final on Tuesday night. And I'll be going to that game. And hopefully I'll be vlogging the game as well. Not too sure about next Saturday just yet. Um, I might be going. I'm not quite too, I'm not quite sure yet. So I'll see. I'll see you all around guys. In, in in a bit. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.